church. Uh, this morning I'd like to go to 1 Peter 5, 1 and 2. I know I said yesterday that we, uh, that I probably wouldn't post more videos for the next few days, but I was thinking of you this morning as I was praying and I thought we should read this verse together. Uh, in 1 Peter it says, So I exhort the elders among you as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. And I was reflecting this morning um, how thankful I am to be your pastor. I, for the first couple of months I was here, often thought and often said, um, you know, if I, I've been looking forward to being a pastor for a long time, and I wish that my time as a pastor didn't have to start with this pandemic, which is still true. I wish that were not the case. But um, the, in the last couple of months, that's kind of been flipped on its head where I've realized, you know, if we have to be in this pandemic, I'm so thankful I get to be a pastor, that I get to walk with you and study scripture kind of on your behalf each week and try to figure out how do we be faithful to God, uh, faithful to the guidance he gives us in his word, how can we continue to be people of faith, hope, and love even in times like this. I love being a pastor and I love being your pastor, so thank you for calling me and uh, letting me care for this congregation. Love you all.